Alola, friends. Dapper Drabby. Look, we're back. <laughs> no, we're not back entirely. We're going to be doing a couple of live card openings, though. Mix it up with the TCGO. Um, but one of the things I was going to do on the TCGO this week was a Duskmane Necrozma deck. And I ended up getting the promo one here so I can have enough for a deck. But then I realized how to make a deck without having the extra, uh, extra one or two. So, but... I will share that deck later. I'm hoping to actually do the deck tech as a live um, deck tech. So I'll probably be using this play mat, have my camera up here, and then like have it face down. And then I can do the deck tech um, with Duskmane Necrozma. So we'll, uh, but we'll see if I can get that up later today or tomorrow at the latest. But I wanted to share with you guys the Duskmane Necrozma GX10. So... It's been a while since we've done any openings, so let's go ahead and read the back. Unleash the full power of the Eclipse. Stare in wonder at Dark Flash. Our Meteor Tempest, the matches matchless moves of the of a Pokemon GX. Choose the wild cosmic power of Dawnwing's Necrozma or Duskmane Necrozma in the Pokemon trading card game Necrozma Prism Tens. These fantastic tens contain a powerful form of legendary Pokemon Necrozma Reggie. Reggie, ready to challenge all comers, and truly they are. They both have their own uses in the TCG. Um, Dawnwings is a great uh, invasion retreat um, on, and then Duskmane just has so much power that, uh, I mean, they've both seen some play. I mean, Duskmane has done better in tournaments, but not still not the best. Still uh, still a little shy of those first places, but I think it recently did get third with a uh, Magnazone variant. But we're going to pop this open. This is a sweet looking tin. It's been a while since I've gotten a tin. But I don't expect too much from these tins because they, they can be hit or miss. And there is the beautiful promo, Sun and Moon promo 102. And has that Meteor Tempest attack does 220 damage. Um, so I've enjoyed playing this deck. I built it. I was actually really surprised. Last week I kept running into a bunch of metal decks. I'm just just Dusk Main everywhere when I was on the TCGO. And uh, it was just like, oh, geez, why is everybody playing this? But I was able to finagle my way through a tournament and win it somehow, even with a bunch of my opponents having this card. That's a very cool card. We're going to leave it back here. Dang it. Because of the, the way I put the sleeve on. It's not protecting it right. It's not protecting it right. Um, let me see if there's another sleeve. And slide this in. Some little force of will sleeves. There we go. It's better protected now. And it stays on the sleeve. There we go. There we go. So, what kind of packs do we have today? We have... Fates Collide, Steam Siege, Crimson Invasion, and Ultra Prism. So that's all that's in the 10. So we'll just put the 10 aside. Here, we'll have it reflect to that spotlight over here. Look really cool against the background. So, let's see what I'm hoping for. Um, I have enough Glaceons, so I'm good on that front. I know I want an Alolan Executor from that. Steam Siege, I think I have everything I want. I have a ton of Gardevoirs, and I have a ton of Volcanians. Um, maybe a B-Sharp. And Fates Collide. Strong Energy, maybe? So Strong Energy, Ultra Prism. I guess we just want some more Cynthia's for deck building. So we're going to start with these two, and with those two, I don't know how I'm going to do this, I guess. Start Fates Collide, Ultra Prism, and then move on from there. But I thought I'd mix it up today, guys, where we uh, we go ahead and do some pack openings because why not? Yeah. It is a Bronzor. This guy is still legal. You can use it with that Bronzong from Ultra Prison that we'll probably get. Find a friend, dearling. Carbink has that safeguard. Man, that would be broken if it stopped GX's 2. Fennekin. Seal, 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 seal. Kabuto. Louder, it is so loud. A fairy drop. That's a very good healing item. And it goes with our reverse uncommon Wigglytuff with that expand. 
And our rare is Snorlax. Oh my god, look at the sleeping pair here. Toss and turn, expand. Wow, that's funny. A couple of sleeping, sleeping big mons there. Let's go ahead and jump into the Leafeon pack. I used to think Leafeon was giving me my luck, but I don't think it does anymore. Here's an Ultra Prism code for you guys, though. I'm having literally no luck on the TCGO with Ultra Prism, so you guys can have that code. One, two, three. Energy is grass. It's, of course, not. But I still guessed grass. We're going to start things off with Pasimian. Now, I might go to a league this week instead of a pre-release because the pre-release I go to is no longer available. And since all of them are about an hour away, I just think I'm just going to go to a league possibly and I'll probably try to play Pasimian. I got a dare from it. So land it. Biplup. A Riolu with the Detect, a Lolan Diglett Monferno with that Super Singe Iron Identified Fossil. We got a Honchko. I was going to say Reverse Honchko, but it's not. Monferno is the Reverse, and our Rare is a Raquanid. Yikes. Yikes. We're going to finish with that Alolan Executor. Totally. Um, Steam Siege. I don't know. Maybe this is the pack we get like a full art sycamore or something crazy good that I've never seen before. So let's start with that Nidoran boy. Is it male? Is it female? You don't know. Nose pass. Hop it anonymous. A meow. Clotcher with the double pincers. Duat. An Azumu. Persian. The raid. Fury swipes. Ponyta just staring out the window. And our rare is that. <laughs> Secret rare, Volcanion EX. We have three of these now. That is too many. Too many of these. He likes me, I guess. Wow. How is it? I, I always get the same art, too. But there we go. There we go. 115 out of 114. A Volcanion EX with the gold border. Xerneas in the background. Very, very cool card. Sweet. Let's ring the bell for that one. First pull in a while. We haven't been opening though, so that's probably why. Okay. Can we get the Alolan Executor? I need them. I need them for some decks. I need to build my, my Venusaur Alolan Executor deck. So I need an Alolan Executor. One, two, three. Energy is dark. It's not dark. It's metal, like Duskmane the Krasma. We're going to start things off with the Salandant. We got Feebas, Splashing Dodge and Dodging Splashes. Leer, that little Cubone. Can't wait to play that Alolan box. Shellos, Bunnelby, Azuelos. They all rhymed. Pile of Swine. Peaking Red card. Reverse is a Quaffish. Quaw, quaw, quaffish. And our rare is an Agron Hollow. It's a sweet hollow pattern. With the Buster showing more metal. If it wasn't a stage 2, I'd play it. Um, yeah, this attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter in all your benched Pokemon. So that's a pretty cool, pretty cool attack. So, not bad today. We got our promo Dusk Main, so we can play that on the TCG Online now. A Volcanion EX and a Agron Hollow. Not bad for a tin, I would say, and it looks pretty sweet to me. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. I will bid you guys Alola, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.